today I'm gonna to show you how they paint a watercolor painting of a swan. The swan splash lots of water. I'm gonna show you how to apply the masking fluid to create those illusions of water dusts in the air. Before you start it, please give this video a like, share with your friends. And if this is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on notification so you won't miss any future video like this. First, I'm going to figure out the composition. So I'm going to put the swan right over here and almost like in the middle. So I'm going to do a little rough composition. This is the front of the swan. I want to bring it a little bit bigger like this and the top over here and then the head. Actually, I changed my mind. I want to lower it a little bit because I want to have those uh, duds, the, the splashes. I want to make it look a bit more interesting. So I'm going to make this a little bit lower. So you make it a little bit more interesting like that. So you don't have to draw a lot. Just get an idea at the beginning. And this is, would be the face of this one in the back. First thing I need to do, I need to apply the masking fluid. I don't need any dust on the water. Basically, it does, has no dust in the water. So I'm going to have something to block the bottom. I'm going to put it right over here like this. That's good, right? So I'm going to apply the dust. If the dust go into the middle of this one, that will be fine. Um, now, first, I'm going to have some masking for it. I would have the link to this product in the video description. I have been using this for a long time. If you have a bottle like this, it's going to last for a long time. I'm going to put a little bit over here. So that's good. I'm going to close the cap immediately, put it on the side. I'm going to use the two brush. So what I want to do, I'm going to put the two brush in here. Now I'm going to start apply to that. I'm going to, let's take a look. I'm going to put my thumb over here. It's pretty simple. And you can get closer, take a look at how the dust look like how much you want it to be and like this and the top over here a little more a little bit over here okay I'll take a look a few right here like that that's good I'm gonna apply more in this area like that and more more, more, more. I'm going to give it a lot more. Okay. Right at this area, like that. Oh, I think this is good enough. A lot of this. That's good. Okay. That's good. Now, I'm going to use the stick. I'm going to put a few dots in some area. I'm going to put some over here. Take that and put it over here. I'll put a few dots on the water. The area that I want it to have some masking. Okay, right there. That's good. I'm going to put a couple over here. Like that. That's good. And I'm going to have a few uh, the bottom over here and this is a very important preparation I'm gonna have this coming together over here here you go now I put a, a few dots in the places is high one like this good like really nice a little bit more like that okay I'm going to let it dry before I'm going to start the painting. The masking foot is already dry. Now I come back to remove some of the area that I don't want anything over here. So I just use the finger, softly just remove it. And this is good. I can leave a little bit over here, but I don't really need that many. So remove a few. Okay, that is gone. That's good, right over here. And the head over here, I'm going to remove 
some okay now let it go and that's good you can control it okay now maybe this one is too big I'm gonna let it go I'm gonna let this one go okay it's good enough now I'm gonna start painting now I'm gonna first I'm gonna paint into uh, the top over here so painting the background color so I can leave the white shape uh, for the bird and also I'm gonna paint into the water you look at the water over here and the lightest color on the water is not even as light as the the highlight on the boat is much lighter right so good I'm gonna use the one inch flat brush now start mixing a little darker color some I already have some color over here so I already some of the color I already like I'm gonna get a little yellow color when I take some yellow color over here my brush already have some blue color so I'm making sure I'm not gonna making the whole uh, yellow color look dirty because at the end I need some pure clean yellow color when I take over here and we're first I'm going to start from the top over here like that I have some color over here in the distance I may have a little bit more blue so okay that color like that a little bit darker now I'm going to have some color much much darker so I'm going to have some red color the winds are red I'm gonna have the present blue, quite a bit of present blue. Okay, that's good. Have a little bit more red, a little bit more. So I make the color looks really dark, so I can make the bird really pop. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna start over here. Now, as I'm moving over here, I'm gonna give a little bit dark in the middle over here just tap on it now I need to pay attention now I'm gonna looking for this space for the bird and here you go I'm gonna start over here coming up just really round it like that and keep coming okay that's good now I need to pay attention to the bird the head of the bird I go here that's good don't need to be afraid of it. It just need to pay attention what's the edge. Now that's good. Right over here. Like that. That's the head. That's the mouth. That's good. Now I'm gonna coming around over here. That's good. You can then make the boat a little bit higher if you want. Okay, coming over here. Like that on the back over here. Now, I'm going to come in a little bit and I have there's maybe a little bit too, too small gap that I can. I don't want to just use this brush and try to do everything. That's as good. Coming down over here. Now, quickly, I'm going to making the dark color coming around. Don't make some area look too dry. Okay, like this that coming down to the bottom over here that's good that's good now coming over here now I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter color I'm then gonna have it integrated and it can be getting dry too quick okay now coming on this side much quicker now I'm gonna use a little bit yellow color there's too much blue in my brush, so I'm gonna let that go. Most the color. I'm gonna mix a little color over here. Now I'm gonna put it right here. So don't scratch your your brush to the paper too much. You could actually scratch off those uh, masking dusts. Okay, you want to keep them like that. Nice, and have a little bit line like that. That's good. Right, that's really good a little bit over here and there that's nice okay now I'm gonna have a little bit more of the yellow 
and the green gray color and coming back over here here you go and coming down here now at this point I need to use the smaller calligraphy brush for some details like that and I'm going to change my brush and coming into the calligraphy brush now I'm going to take this color really quickly and coming in over here I can see a little gap I'm going to come in here between the feather okay nice like that maybe make it a little bit lighter so I'm going to have to make this a little bit lighter lift up a little color now coming just use this the gray green color I'm going to have this color over here too I'm going to have a little bit lighter like that that's good I'll make it even a little bit softer coming down now I'm going to come in to get a little bit yellow color can mix in here I have a little bit feeling that like a little green color now here's go like that that's good all right now coming to on this side okay give a little bit like that give a little line a horizontal line like this that's good now at this point I need to come in over here to give a little details okay like this that's good that's nice I like that maybe come in a little bit more like that that's good now coming to take a look at the head of the bird now coming in like that that's perfect like that that's good and over here I can give a little suggestion of the hair just a little bit that's good enough a little bit like that too okay that looks really nice and now I'm going to just use the clean brush now I'm going to make it a little bit softer just seeing a little translucent of the feather okay a little bit like that a little bit translucent a little bit translucent like that that's good like that a little bit translucent you see this you can even paint it now it's the little make translucent color like that I really light oh that's good it's more than I hope for that's good and I'm going to just take the little color over here softly and now I'm gonna get a little detail into the feather and make it look a little bit soft all right that's nice like that and feeling soft it doesn't really take lots of effort to make the details uh, you have to keep the optimistic uh, in your mind because okay I'm gonna let go of this I'm gonna come down to the water actually before I move away I want to leave a little bit light uh, sh shape light shape in the background so I'm gonna just remove all the wet now here is still a little bit uh, wet it's not really dry yet so I'm gonna leave a little sh stroke like that that's nice I'm gonna leave a little bit over here too like that and showing that's the water the water effect like that that's good and also over here too a little bit lift it a little bit will lift it over here too like that it may not really too clear that's fine just give it your give it your best effort and a little bit coming over here that's good and maybe a little bit over here like that okay now on the top over there I'm gonna have a little bit color over here I'm gonna have a little bit layer and on the top over here and showing a little bit nice far away effect okay like that okay like that's good that's good enough a little suggestions now I'm gonna give a little water splashes and I need to have a little water I'm gonna splash it right over here give a little bit something in the background so I can see 
have some water effect like that. Okay, work a little bit like that. We can come back to do the bird a little bit later. Now at this point, I'm gonna work it into the water underneath over here. And actually just a little bit light blue color. So I take a little blue color, I already have it. That's just good. I'm gonna take this color a little bit more. That's just good. I'm gonna put over here. Now a star coming through over here. Maybe a little bit darker. Okay, a little bit darker, a little bit gray. I can take that color. That's good. Like that. That's good. Now coming down over here, coming around the water. Now here you go. Now you pay attention to the bottom of the bird and showing that and coming through over here. And here you go. That's coming through over here and coming up a little bit. Okay, like that and have a little bit more blue coming over here. So I'm gonna actually try to remove some color, some green color, move it away. So I have a little mush together. That is fine. And I have a little bit softer over here too, like that. Okay, nice, move that away. So, okay, I'm gonna continue. And we need to do a little lifting uh, very soon. So I'm gonna come in over here and the front over here too. Okay, here you go. Now, and then we're going to put a little detail a little bit later and a little bit darker color. Okay, like that. That's good. And now we are setting up the main contrast. You have to have a great contrast in every painting. Okay, and I give a little bit light shape over here too. Make a little bit soft feeling. Okay, now I'm going to come in over here. Make a little soft feeling. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm also going to lift up a little color over here. Make that feel a little bit soft. That's good. Now, what I need to do, I need to lift up a little light shape over here. That is reflected into the water. I'm going to just lift it up. You see that how efficient by using this uh, fry brush because they have so much hair. Okay. It's so easy to lift up the shape very nicely like that so I'm making sure it has drier than the paper the paper should be a little bit more wet than this I'm gonna come in through over here like that nice and over here have a little bit lift it up so that's very important if you have the right brush the right tool the right color, the right paper, and you very much can do the same thing that I'm doing. Okay, that's good. I lift the color. That is a good. And I'm gonna lift that light a little bit later. And maybe just keep it like that. Okay, I don't want to touch it together. Okay, like that. This is good. Now I'm going to add some, a little bit, um, shape a little bit different colors a little bit more blue somehow into the water over here i'm going to put this a little bit more blue like that and showing a little bit texture like that and a little bit over here so i can see and a little bit over here too now nice like this here you go nice and then we're going to give a, a little more of those darker green color reflected the dark color the, from the top and those we can do it a little bit later but just right now it just put a, some little bit variety of blue color and also the blue color it would making those light shape stand out a little bit more and i'm going to do a little bit more over here okay like that and the expression it's very easy to uh, create it by using this calligraphy brush. Nice. Okay, and I'm also going to put a little bit blue right under here. A little bit right under here. That's good enough. Okay, now you have enough texture on the paper, right? Very nice. Now we're going to come back to take a look at uh, the bird and I'm going to start adding some 
a nice yellow orange color. So at this point, I'm going to just mix a little yellow color with this little red. We don't need lots of lots of colors. So a little bit, that's fine. That's good. I like this bright color. So now I'm going to looking for the area for the neck right over here. See that? Right in here. There you go. Coming down. You have a little gap between the mouth. Even though I have not drawn the details in the drawing stage, but actually I can see that this is the area. Okay, I'm gonna even have a little bit darker, a little gray color. It doesn't need to be so bright. I'm gonna have it outside over here and now get a little bit lighter like this. So you can see the separation between the neck and the bottom over here. If you paint and draw uh, enough, it's very easy to see all those uh, contrast, those comparison. I'm going to have a little bit gray color and coming up a little bit that has a little bit more blue, feeling up the blue like that. I don't want to have so much green feeling. So I'm going to let go something over here. That's good. I'm going to keep that. I don't want it to be too dark. But inside over there, I'm going to have a little bit more warmer color right over here. Like that. That's good. Right. When you see the color, you're very, very important to notice the value of the color. Actually, I want to remove the gap between the mouth and the neck. I think it's just, it will be too much contrast. So that's this beautiful area. We need to capture that. On the top of the head, we also see a little yellow orange color, but it doesn't need to be that dark. So I'm going to put that over here. This need to be like a turning over. So I'm going to take the yellow color, have a little red, just take a little clean red color on the edge over here. I have some over here. That's good. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put a little color over here. So at the top, I can keep it white. That is just fine. All you need to notice is the value and the color. Okay, when you see the color, before you see the color is to see the value. And then you think about how warm, how cool is the color would be. Now I'm going to have a little bit of this kind of gray color, uh, but I don't want it to be look too green. So I'm going to have a little bit red to it. Now I'm going to put this color in here. That's nice. You see that the transition showing the dimension of the head that. So what I'm going to do, I'll make it this a little bit softer. I'm going to keep that a little light gap. Now I'm going to have a little bit softer, but I don't want to touch the wet color right underneath. It's important. Okay. Like that is showing the dimension. That's nice. Like that. And maybe a little bit more right over here showing the actually turning over. That's good. We come back a little bit later for that. Now, it's important, I'm going to have a little bit gray color. So we get the blue color first and have a little bit red. So it doesn't look like a too overwhelmingly cool. So I'm going to have it right here. And now I'm going to create a three dimensional form for the body. I'm going to have it a little bit lighter here. Okay, that's good. Like that. Coming to the bottom. Now pay attention. That is the the light shape star over here. So now I'm going to create a shape coming up over here like this. It's good. Doesn't need to be really sharp or straight. And coming over here, that's the catch the shadow created by the neck. Okay, that's good. Like that. Coming on this side. And the yellow color is already dry. That's just good. I'm going to come in over here. Now now I'm going to create a little texture on the top over here. A little bit like that. Tap, tap, tap on it. That's good enough. Like that. Keep it a little random. Okay, that's good. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to come in over here and I'm going to touch it. I think there's already dry. That's fine. I don't need to use, I don't need to keep the, the really light shape on the edge. Now this is good. So this is a little bit 
uh, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit more before I come in here to give a little bit deeper color to showing the really turning over. And on this side, it have a little bit more blue. Actually, I'm gonna take this blue color right over here. That's nice. Now I'm gonna start giving a little bit shape. That's the shape over here. And maybe a little bit too much. So I'm gonna make it a little bit gray. I think it's too much blue. So like that, that's good. Like this, here you go. And something over here. Now I'm gonna looking for the interesting shape. Like that. Okay, let's keep going over here. And need to have a little bit red. Okay, this more likely, this the blue color I want. But you don't have to using too much of details. It's too much detail. You make it feel like all tedious and lost the connection between those shapes. Okay, important to keep the shape, keep the big shape, keep the big interesting, interesting shape together. And on here, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have a little bit more blue right over here. Here you go. That has a little bit more clean blue color. That's nice. I don't wanna to touch on that side, so be careful. Okay, don't wanna to touch it. Keep that, keep that separation, okay. Okay, now it's some interesting details over here. So I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter, like that. I come back to do a little more after it drive. I have a little bit soft shape. That's good. I'm gonna connect that over here too, like this. A little extension and showing a little bit. And that's good. Now I'll come back to the top over there. Have a little bit yellow. But it's not a lot of yellow, but it's a little bit kind of yellow gray color. Now I'm gonna come to the shape over here. So after you have the biggest contrast and have them in place, okay? And then the rest will become very interesting and very relaxing when you're doing that. Okay, coming over here. Now I'm gonna also add a little yellow color here right here. I'm gonna keep that a little yellow, Ooh, too much. So you can just clean the brush and coming over here and still keep the, the freshness, but you don't need to be so, so bright. Okay, like that. Okay, compare the, uh, we talk about the value contrast and the color over here, it's just lighter than the color inside over here. So that means we need to actually make the inside over here, this shape, if even a little bit more darker. Okay, now I'm gonna have a little bit small shape over here with a pretty light. And I'm gonna come in over here. Now this, I can light up a little bit. Okay, like that, that's good. Just use the click of your brush, make a little bit lighter. I'm going to do a little bit more. I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. Like that, that's fine. That's good enough. So I'm gonna have a little bit blue coming over here. Make that a little bit darker too, coming over here, like that. So there's a lot of water splash around. You wanna get that feeling. I'm gonna have a little bit blue gray color over here too, showing little the separation. Now this is getting getting more and more dry. This is good. So I'm gonna come back over here and give a little bit lighter lighter transition. Okay, I'm gonna take this color. Lighter transition. Okay, like this. Nice, interesting. I'm gonna soften that a little bit over here so I don't need the top over here. They have so much so much definition. But this is already good. Now I come back to here. See that always have the timing for everywhere. So I'm gonna actually make that really dark at the bottom over here first, okay? It's already getting dry, that's good, but not totally dry. That is as good. Now I'm gonna have some thing. Get a little bit, a little bit soft transition like that. I'm gonna keep a little illusion of the feather, like that open. Okay, so that's good. 
like that. And the bottom over here, I'm going to keep a little bit darker suggestion like that right there. Okay, that's good. I may be ready for some other colors, but let's focus over here for a little bit. So I need to open my calligraphy brush, right? So I'm not, I'm going to take this color, a little bit of this, a little bit gray color. Now open it up a little bit. You don't need to you need to know how to use your tools. And I'm going to have this a little bit transition like that. Tap on it to have nice uh, feeling of the round. The form is round coming over. Now I'm going to tap a little bit darker area. Okay, there's a little separation like that. And a little bit. So if you're looking for a small brush like this, and it's not really small, but it can take lots of paint and it can last for a long time, but also can render into a very small areas. And this brush is, you can't find it anywhere outside of China. And I already have some, ship it to uh, Enjoying Arc and you can uh, follow the link in the description to go to Enjoying Art store and you can order some, okay? Okay, that's good. Now the form is already changing over. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add some darker, the darker little bit green color. I'm going to take the yellow over here. Okay, get that color. That's good. That's very nice color. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this color. Let's take a look and that is nice. Like that, a little color over here. And underneath over here, that color actually can merge a little bit the underneath over here, like that. So I'm gonna take a little bit, a little bit gray, and take this a little gray color. So I'm gonna show that actually that the water actually turning over and that's good, like that, have a little line, like this, okay, like that. And then coming over here, I can show a little bit, this a little bit, this kind of changing line, a little bit over here, that's good, like that. All right, I'm gonna get even something a little bit darker. I'm gonna get a little red, and this is the right color, right underneath over here, you see that? Gonna have that right over here. Okay, like that. That's good. And showing a little bit small line. You see how small line you can create with this brush. Okay, that's good. Okay, like that. All right, it's getting there. Now I'm gonna have a little bit beautiful green color. And here you go. I'm gonna tap on it as everything, the magic is create the illusion. Okay, you are not try to do the bird or try to do the water. It's actually the illusion that you want to create a motion like that. So now I'm gonna also get a little blue color. Pay attention to what color is that area. Okay, how you can create that. And you're gonna see, and stay with me. And it's gonna be very, very beautiful painting when it's everything done. Okay, now I'm gonna have a little bit blue color. Now, a little bit blue color. Now I'm gonna see, that is just the, another stroke, right over here. You see the brush, and you put it down, and drag it over, and then drag it over, over here, and then turn a little bit, and then come up a little bit, and then push it down again. You see that nice movement. Now I'm gonna use a little bit darker color, but that color, you need to be look like this, it's just at the top over here. And a little bit over here, like that. It's a very nice transition. You see that, how easy. You can render a flat shape to become a beautiful uh, uh, shape with so dynamic, uh, a different value together. So I'm gonna have a little bit red, like that. It's showing a little bit color right over here. That's the reflection of the mouth, okay, like that. Okay, I can see that. 
Yeah, beautiful. See this? Showing a little bit the shape. That's good. A little bit over here. A little line over here. Just pay attention. And how the movement of your, your water actually turning. Okay, like that. Okay, that's good. I'm going to keep using a little bit yellow color. Reflected from here, right? Coming down over here. Okay, like that. I'm going to have a few thin line. Okay, a little bit more like that. A feeling as to the water reflected the object about. Now this is good. I'm going to get a little bit darker and actually I see a little bit darker blue color right over here. I'm going to capture that. Okay, like that. That's beautiful. And now I'm going to come back with the green color. A little green color right over here. Actually start over here like this. And And here you go. I'm going to have a little bit darker like that. Now I'm going to come to a really dark color, reflected the color up here. So a little bit really dark green color. Now that's good. Now here we go. I'm going to come in over here. Pay attention. And this beautiful line. I can draw the line like that. You can do that too. But you need a brush, can take a lot of paint into it, and also can render some really, really small detail line. Okay, like that. Okay, look at it. And there's a little line over here. So making sure you know all those shapes and what they represent. Okay, that's good. And why they are there and why you need to capture it. So you need to understand a little bit. I'm going to have this a little bit bigger. I'm going to have a little bit darker right here, like that. And I'm going to have this a little bit darker. I don't want the dark color coming in here too much. So put it over here too. Like that. And a little bit more. A little small line. OK, that's good. Like that. Now, this side, we need a few more line, very small and nice. Now coming here. Uh, now on the on this side, I'm gonna have a little bit more green color over here. And look at that simple, simple line. Like that. You can see how small the line you can control. Like that. I right, screen your eye. Like that. Coming through over here. And nice. Like this. Okay. Now I also need to add a little bit uh, red and brown this color. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have a little bit red, take a little red over here and showing that actually over here have a little red just reflected from the mouth like that, that's nice and showing that's good, like that, that looks good okay and I'm going to have a little bit solid color over here, a little bit more green. So I'm going to have a little bit solid coming over here, organize that a little bit better, like that. A little bit solid, a little bit organized. Okay, like that, a little bit more. Okay. Like that, it's good. Little line over here. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice already. Okay, like that. A little bit here too. I don't want to overdo it, but the water is just so interesting. Okay, now I'll come back to the bird. Now, what I like to do, I'm going to put a little red color. And put the red color, beautiful red color, start over here. Okay, 
it's not just all red, but the top over here is a little bit more red. Like that. That's good. Wow. Nice. Now I'm going to add a little yellow color. I already have some yellow color over here, so I can use this yellow color and make it a little bit more lighter. A little bit more yellow. A little bit lighter. Like that. There you go. And coming over here. Now a little bit lighter. Like that. That's fine. Connect that over here. So this is the location of the mouth and I can make a little bit darker color around it and that is going to look really nice. But at this point, don't forget the form, how you can create a form, the feeling of the form. Okay. Now I'm going to have this actually a little bit darker. So I'm going to add a little bit back over here. Okay. A little bit over here, a little bit darker too. So after you put the dark color uh, into uh, the head area and everything will go, going to come together really nicely. So I'm going to have a little bit darker over here too. make a little turning. Now I come back to the neck. I want to have a little bit warmer and darker. So I get a little bit of this color, you know, translucent watercolor, every color, any color you add to it, it always make it together, combine together to become darker at the end. Okay. Here you go. Make it a little bit lighter like that. That's good. A little nice transition. Oh, nice. Okay. Now under here, I'm going to have a little bit gray colors because I don't want it to be so, so light. It's not that light. So I'm going to have a little bit gray color. You can see this you can fill in the white color. That's not so light. That's fine. Okay. Like this. Okay, much better. And over here. Now it looks good. Looks good already. Now after we put the detail and everything will come together. Fabulous. And I'm going to add a little bit darker color over here because that's showing that it's a little turning over here. So I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit. That's good. Maybe a little bit too much already. Okay. And I'm going to soften that over here. Let's move that in a little bit, soften that a little bit. And on this side, soften that a little bit on the edge. That's good. But you don't want to overdo it. If you overdo it, it looks like a weird. Okay. Now I'm going to fill in the color over here, put a little blue color over there because I don't want to be showing the Y edge over there. So now this is already dry. So very easy. Just put a little light blue color. So you see everything has its timing. I keep saying that and you don't want to try to do everything in the wrong timing and try to finish everything that they're not supposed to be. So you miss the timing or maybe you overdo something, right? That's good. I'm going to soften that a little bit over there and that white color is gone. And take a look at that. I think that looks very nice. Some light tone over here. So I'm going to show the light tone a little bit more by adding a little blue color. Okay. When you have a little blue color around and uh, especially the, the darker color around that light color will show easier. Okay. And I'm going to make this organize that a little bit more. And here you go. I'm going to have a little bit darker blue color over here. And I can see there's need to be a little bit more little bit more over here. You can shade it a little bit. Uh, the good thing is these two brushes that I use, they are very soft. It's not going to scratch uh, your paper. Now you see that this light shape already showing up a lot better. Okay. So because of the very gentle here, uh, the here is actually from ship. So it's showing it won't scratch the color. If you use the those uh, um, synthetic brush, especially and some animal hairs may be also hard, but 
uh, some some synthetic brush especially they are cheaper but they are a very hurtful to the paper now this light color really show up a lot more okay I'm gonna make that a little bit dimmer over here that's good now also going to show a little more red color over here too like that that's nice so I'm gonna have the blue color a little bit more over here too like that that's nice like that okay not everywhere with the with the same dark blue color I just want to glaze a little bit more like over here I'm gonna actually have this glaze a little bit darker now now the light color on the bird was showing more beautifully okay like that having the color over here having the color over here okay like that nice and over here I'm gonna add the blue color too okay and like that Now the white color showing up, very nice. Okay, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to the head. After doing all this, now I can come back to finish the dark color. So I'm gonna mix the really dark color, give the red, the Windsor red, and the Prussian blue, and it will become a very very dark color now here you go I'm good before I go to the head I'm gonna add a little dark color over here too okay. oh it's nice I'm gonna add a little dark color over here too before I forget like that and nice show a little suggestions for that nice like that a little bit more a little detail it will really gonna help okay I'm gonna take this color a little bit red that's good now I'm gonna start working into the head now over here come out a little bit that's good now it's already dry, so it's very easy to do so I'm gonna look at the eye it's right in here right look again Okay, right here. That's good. Okay, now you can push it down. You almost cannot see clearly of the eye, so that's okay. Coming over here. Now, take a look at that. This area looks like a triangle. Okay, look like a, a very beautiful triangle. See that? That's good. Now, coming down over here, and here you go. Now, we're gonna make it looks really nice by having the dark shape and look again push it down and dry your dark color white right. beautiful now coming to the bottom over here I'm gonna have that a little bit dark color now coming around over here now I'm gonna finish the edge look again make sure you know what you're doing okay like that Coming all the way here. Now it's very nice already. Make a very finish. And also, you don't want to have the dark color everywhere, okay? Just a, a few places have dark color, like a little bit here, a little bit over here, a little bit corner over here. They have a little bit dark color. And also a little bit over here, and that's it, right? And take a look. And I'm going to have a little bit darker actually in here. I'm going to have even a little bit darker like that. That's interesting contrast. And now I'm going to have a little bit blue color. I'm going to put it in right over here, connect to that color. Nice. Okay, like that. Okay. And I'm looking for do a little comparison. I think this is can be a little bit, also still a little bit darker. So I'm gonna add a little bit darker tone over here, and even add a little texture, like that, and like that. 
is showing a little bit more curve interesting look at that okay that's good I'm gonna let go some of the harsh texture okay and very nice I think the painting is finished now and add a little bit over here a little toning like that okay this is good everything's already drive so now I'm gonna come back to remove the masking fluid like over here I can remove that remove all the dust now this paintings finally finish if you like this kind of learning lessons push subscribe and turn on notification and thank you for give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends if you're a member of enjoying art please join me every friday we have two painting sections one in the morning one in the evening it's a free benefit for all enjoying art members please come to join me and painting with me every week i'm looking forward to see you in my next video